everyone, and welcome back to another Flavor Friday on The Commotion. I'm your clueless cook, Roshan, and today I'm feeling a little romantic. So we're gonna make some chocolate lava cake. But first, make sure you smash that like button if you like our content. I see that 70% of our viewers don't hit that subscribe button. So hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for more of our content. We do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, art, talks, food, and we're adding some new segments. So check us out. Let's go. All right, so first we gotta do a little bit of prep work. Um, we're gonna preheat our oven to 425, get that going. Um, you wanna grab a ramekin cup, which is like a ribbed cup. I don't own one of those. All right, I'm a buffoon here baking. So I am going to grab the next best thing for me, and that is a uh, muffin pan, if that's what it's called. But we wanna prep this guy. We do not want our concoction sticking. So we're gonna prep with some butter here. I'll wipe off like whatever little bits of excess, but there shouldn't be too much. And then if you have it, um, toss some like cocoa powder on there so that it doesn't stick. Um, I don't have it because once again, I am a buffoon. I don't have most baking stuff. I don't do this. This is for the average man or woman that doesn't cook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use flour. I always knew that flour was a staple, but Learn more and more every week about that. So once you like prime your ramen, or in my case, the uh, muffin pan, because I'm whack, uh, here are your ingredients. Uh, we have six ounces of chocolate, so about a cup. We have half a cup of unsalted butter, four eggs right here. We have one fourth cup of all purpose flour and half a cup of confection sugar. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to start heating up some of this chocolate. Typically, you can do it right on the stove top, but I am going to use a microwave because I am cluelessly cooking. And I figure that I'm gonna do things pretty bare basic. So I took my one stick of butter, put it in here, and I'm gonna put it in the microwave in 10 second bursts until it starts to melt and then I'll start whipping it up. All right, so we pulled out our chocolate. I'm starting to kind of like whip it a little bit. I didn't want to leave it in there too long because I didn't want it to burn. And I'm just gonna keep on kind of whipping this until we get the texture that we want. All right, so we are about to get cracking. We have four eggs here. We're gonna use two full eggs and we are going to use two egg yolks. If you want to see some awesome one-handed egg cracks, you're at the wrong place. No shell, baby. All right, so for the yolk part, I could do the deshelling method, but I don't know how to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this guy out and I have a handy little tool that I found. I don't know exactly what this is for, but I'm gonna use it for this egg. And I'm gonna just capture the yolk. Boom, boom. And awesome. And that is how you have a yolk. Thank you, Instagram Reels. That's one. You can take all this extra egg white and make a nice little healthy omelet or something out of it the next day if you want. But I got what I needed, which was two eggs and two egg yolks up in this thing. And now we're gonna start whisking this together. This is super easy. So whisking that was easy and we are about to add in our flour, boom and our confection sugar. And I didn't mention this before, but everybody has it. Take 
a dash of salt and slap that guy in there. Boom, bam, pow. So we can use a machine to whisk, but I'm gonna do it by hand because I am a purist. I am lying. I don't own like a machine that does it, so I'm gonna do it by hand. And we're supposed to get like a smooth-ish texture out of it. So I'm just gonna go to town and this is gonna take me a while, jeez, man. So I've been mixing for a while now um, because I don't have a machine and I am a buffoon, baking, baking buffoon. This is the consistency that we're looking for, that like yellow-ish. And now we are going to start folding in our chocolate. All right, and then we're just gonna start folding this guy in here. Luckily, this is already super thick, so I don't need a machine for this. All right, and now that we have our chocolate ready, I am going to start to put this guy in our muffin tops. Now, I don't know like how to do this neatly, because I don't know how to do anything neatly, honestly. All right guys, so we took our chocolate batter and we threw it in the muffin pan. Now what I've learned is you can either use an ice cream scooper or like a pitcher. I didn't have none of those, so I used the spoon and it was so difficult, but we got it in there. So if you're using a ramekin, like I mentioned earlier, uh, which you can use, which you should use, uh, 12 to 14 minutes, since I'm using a baking pan or a muffin baking pan, whatever the hell they're called, we're only leaving it in there for eight to 10. So I'm gonna pop this guy in there and hope for the best. Luckily, we coated our chocolate lava cake with uh, flour and with uh, butter, or at least our pan, I mean. So it won't stick. So eight to 10 minutes, let's see what happens. All right, guys, so we left this in here for about nine minutes and we are going to check how they came out. Here we are. So we're gonna let this sit for about a minute and cool. So I let it sit for about two minutes actually. And we're gonna do a flip. I am super nervous about this, but hopefully it is all good. I wish I did it a little less aggressive. So this is how it's coming out when you take it off of the muffin. I kind of really love the shape. We are about to do the cut. That ooey gooey chocolate. I am super excited. We are at my favorite part of this whole thing, which is getting to eat. And this thing looks really good. It came out really good. Guys, I did it. I did it. I did a thing and it worked. It tastes really good. So I have the ice cream underneath. It's a really good compliment on this chocolate just kind of pouring down. All right, guys, so that's it from me this time on Flavor Friday. I'm your clueless cook, Roshan Joshi. And if you enjoyed this, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Most of you are not subscribed that watch our videos, so make sure to do that. Hit that notification bell. We have a lot of content that comes out every week, so make sure to check us out. And guys, I easily made this dish. It's mostly prep. So another one for the Clueless cooking book. I'm not making a cookbook, that'd be terrible. But another one in the bag. We have two new chefs coming on board. So in December, maybe even early January, you're gonna have a lot of new content coming your way from people that actually know what they're doing. But that is to come. Once again, this is Flavor Friday. I'm your Clueless Cook, Roshan. And remember, stay blessed and have fun. Grinding my whole life. Stop that. Grinding my whole life.